So the gun has got fucking soaking wet. The hot rubber has got wet. You can tell by all the rust on every single screw. That has caused this completely freeze up and stall because of the BB stuck in the barrel. Now that I think about it, this is the spring that's in it, and obviously this is literally the weakest spring I've ever felt in my life. So if this is what you were trying to fire it with, um, you know, th th this, this isn't even going to give you 200 feet per second in any gun. Okay, so this is one of my springs in it, and it works. I have no fucking idea what spring this is, but fucking hell, you are a lucky son of a bitch. So what I've done here is I've just tied up the work the customer's done. Now he didn't do a terrible job. I've actually seen worse jobs by actual airsoft techs. So he didn't do a bad job at all. He was just a little bit perplexed on how the helmet works and the valve not good. I have angled that off rather sharply. It's not sharp to touch, but it, as you can see, that is very, very fucking angled. The reason for that is simple. There was quite a bit of uh, file damage up inside here that I wasn't very happy with. I couldn't quite fix up. Inside here, this is all lovely. It's lovely and clean. Sadly, because of a fuck up where the package where it got sent to me got damaged, we are missing a grip screw and we're missing the fake pins from here, which is a bloody shame, but it's not the end of the world. I still feel that it's slightly too sharpish, but I do believe he has the standard spring at home. If you fit a metal kit to a pistol properly, especially a garter kit to a TM, you do not need to use any kind of upgraded springs or uh, valves and all that shit. You don't need it. In fact, if you read the packaging that comes with your Garda kits, it does say that this is not designed for use of green gas and high-pressure gases. It is literally meant for the Japanese market, so there you go.